Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on general organic chemistry that is the GOC chemistry series. Today we are going to deal with uh, like uh, to lecture number 6 that is nothing but mesomeric effect. So this is the one of the like uh, electronic displacement effect in covalent bonds. Okay, in previous video uh, I had to discuss it about uh, like uh, inductive effect and now we will go through the like mesomeric effect. So before going to the mesomeric effect, uh, now we need uh, some of the basic terms uh, which which are help, helpful for understanding with those uh, mesomeric effect concept. Okay, so those terms are like a resonance. So now we need uh, like a conjugation and resonance terms. Conjugation and resonance. Okay, so these two terms are needed. So now conjugation is nothing but uh, conjugation is nothing but uh, alternative double bonds. Alternative double bonds. Are simply alternative or like a pi bonds is, is nothing but a conjugation okay now here this is the resonance resonance is nothing but a, like a, here it is the like a benzene we know that this is the benzene structure this is the real structure of benzene so the real structure of any compound which is the nothing but a, like a hybrid orbital of all the its resonating structure hybrid orbital of all its resonating structure now this is the benzene so this is the one of the resonating structure so this is the like another resonating structure so the hybrid form of all resonating structure is nothing but a real structure okay so this phenomenon is called a resonance this phenomenon is called a resonance okay simply it is also called as a metamerism meta like a mesomerism not the metamerism sorry okay so simply this phenomenon is called a resonance or mesomerism or delocalization okay now let us discuss the some of the points in resonance that is nothing but a, like here it is the ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 so this is the like a uh, 1 comma 3 butan ion 1 comma 3 butan ion so these compounds having the like a uh, vacant orbitals all p orbital so here electrons are there electron are there electron are there so these lateral overlapping will give us the two pi bonds that is the original structure okay sometimes so these lateral overlapping so appears between the, these two atoms Okay, now the lateral overlapping appears in these two atoms. That means the bonded to two electron will shift it towards over here. So then bonded two electrons will shift it like this. Okay, so the bond means two electrons. Wherever the two electrons shifted the uh, like shifted, so those carbon atom, those atom getting negative charge. Now here it is a negative, it is positive orbital, negative and positive orbital. So this is the structure like this. So again it it returns back to the same system. Now here it creates the like these type of double bonds. Okay. So these two are the like a different resonating structure. So the hybrid form of these two resonating structures uh, is nothing but uh, like this. Okay. Now here okay so this is the like a uh, hybrid form of uh, these type of resonating structures. Simply it is uh, written as like this. It is written as like this. So benzene hybrid is form is a very like a beautiful structure. So whenever we will draw the like benzene like this type of resonating structure that will appear like a very beautiful. Okay. So this is the like benzene p orbitals. Now the like upper orbitals shown in the like blue color. Now lower orbital hybridization like a, those orientation shown in the like a black color. So it is the planar molecule. So above one is delocalized and bottom one is delocalized. So these type of uh, orbital, like a uh, non-bonding electrons are shared from one atom to another atom. This is nothing but delocalization. This is nothing but delocalization. Okay. So delocalization is nothing but resonance. Resonance is nothing but metamerism. So this is the basic part. Okay. Now several type of resonance are available. So now before going to the like a complete topic of mesomeric effect, now I'll discuss the uh, two to three points regarding to the like uh, these resonance. Okay. I think it is clear. This is the very uh, very interesting point uh, that is regarding to the resonance. Okay. Now let's move on to the like resonance. Okay, so resonance, uh, it is uh, like a hybrid form of uh, all its resonating structure, that is the original structure. Okay, now resonance is very with uh, tatamerism, very with tatamerism. So almost all it seems to be in, like both are the similar structures, but it is varied with uh, its uh, tatamerism structure, any type of a stratamerism structure. Now here it is the carboxylic acid. Okay. Now here the lone pair of electrons can shift the those bonded to electrons to adjacent atom. Then these bonded to electrons will shift it to the like a 
adjacent atom that is the uh, oxygen becomes a negative this oxygen becomes positive now i'll explain those signs also in later in the case okay now in case of uh, like a resonating structures so this is the like a uh, tata meson structure this is nothing but ch2h so this is alpha carbon it will it will give rise to this type of tata mer so oh double bond ch2 okay now what we observed the major difference between the like a, this is the resonance form this is the tata meson this is the tata meson so in case of resonance form so there is no change of there is no movement of any atom there is no movement of any atom there is a no movement of any atom so there is no movement okay any atom but now here the movement of atoms the movement of atoms from one position to the another position takes place so movement of atoms are observed movement of atoms are observed so if movement of atoms that means a displacement of atoms from one position to the another position in a molecule then it is a tata meson but resonance so it is a, a like a simple arrangement there is no change there is no change of arrangement like a arrangement with same arrangement with its atomic nuclear with a atomic nuclear so this is the basic point okay this is the first point now again the second point so if any molecule can possesses with uh, like a resonating forms so definitely each and every atom in the particular molecule it should be obeys uh, octet configuration it should be obeys the octet configuration now let's move on to the some of the examples so this is the like aniline okay so whenever aniline gets positive charge then it is nothing but uh, aniline ion aniline gets positive charge that is nothing but uh, aniline ion okay so this is the aniline ion okay now uh, this aniline ion will use the, this type of resonance bond 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 like a nh2 nh3 now here it is the positive why because here the it, uh, loss of electron takes place over there so that's why here here it getting the positive charge okay now let us uh, let us calculate the lewis octet dot lewis dot octet structure okay now here this is the nitrogen atom so those nitrogen atom having the three types of hydrogens so again it is a positive charge that positive charge is formed by the more number of bonds more number of bonds now here it is the like a single bond now here it is the single bond that means one bond two bond three bond four bonds eight electrons are there then it obeys the octet configuration so the two obeys the octet configuration now here these nitrogen atom so here it is having the like the three types of hydrogens hydrogen 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 so here it is the double bond here it is the double bond that means five bonds are there five bonds means each bond shared by two electrons then five bonds means nothing but a 10 electrons so it does not obey the octet configuration that's why these type of resonating structures are not observed okay so some so many of the time they are given in the four options in like competitive exam so which is the correct resonating structure okay so if you check the like the lewis octet dot structure so then only you will find the this type of a correct resonating structure this is the not corrected structure but it is the resonating structure okay now again a different different third point like conditions for the like resonating conditions for the like resonation simply it is nothing but a different different types of resonance okay now the first one both are pi bonds are observed both are pi bonds how uh, which type of resonance will be observed so this is the pi bond this is the pi bond okay so this type of pi bonds the bonded two electrons one of the pi bonded two electrons will shift to the adjacent atom now it becomes like this okay now here the bonded two electrons wherever the bonded two electrons shifted those atom getting the negative charge wherever the like a uh, bonded two electrons are lost those atom getting the like a positive charge or it may be uh, like it appears like this here it is the negative here it is the positive so those time why because these type of shifting are also takes place okay so these two structures are called resonating structure these two structures are called resonating structure whenever two pi bonds are there now the second condition so one pi bond so another one is a uh, like a uh, another like pi bond sorry lone pairs or negative charge lone pairs are negative charge okay these type of uh, like uh, symptoms are there so which type of resonancing resonance are observed so this is the pi bond here it is the lone pair okay so let us assume here it is the oh so it having the lone pairs these lone pairs will shift towards the atom now in this case like a pi bond and a lone pair is present the lone pair bonded electrons the non bonded electrons of lone pair atom that is that is a lone pair containing atom so those bonded electrons shifted towards the like a double bond wipe double bond side so then it becomes like a 
OH positive, here it is the negative. So this is the second condition. Uh, even though here it having the like a negative charge, doesn't matter. So the negative charge will shift it to the like a pi bond. Now we will get to this type of structure. This type of uh, structure. That is the second part. Now third one is like if it is the pi bond, one is pi bond with a like a vacant orbital. Simply it is nothing but positive charge. Adjacent atom is positive charge. Now which type of resonance is observed? So this is the double bond. So here it is the positive charge. Now what will happen? So this type of positive charge is observed. So the bond and two electrons. Now in previous case, so in previous case the lone pair of electrons will shift it to the like uh, unsaturated bonds. Now here unsaturated bonds will shift it to the like vacant orbitals. This is the third category. Okay. So many of the students uh, they are confused with uh, like uh, these shifting of electrons. Okay. So that's why I'll, I'll discuss the, these topic in uh, in front of the video. Okay, this is the third one. Now the fourth one, pi bond with free radical. Pi bond with free radical. This is very interesting thing. Okay, now here double bond, CH2 radical. Double bond, CH2 radical. So here the pi bond is nothing but it contains the two electrons. So in presence of radical, only one electron shifted to the right side. Now another electron shifted to the right left side. Okay, so single electron shifting shown by the, these type of uh, like arrows, not the, these type of complete arrows. Okay, so half of the arrow shown by the like the radical fission. Okay, now here, here it is the one radical. Here it is the one radical. So these two radicals are forms the bond. Now here the radical is appeared. Okay, this type of resonating structure. So resonating structure is nothing but all are similar energy structures. Similar energy structures. Now again the fifth one is like a lone pair and positive charge. What will happen? This type of lone pair and positive charge is there. So simply like a RCH2 like OH. Here it is the like a positive charge. Here it is the OH. There is no R. Okay. Now OH having the lone pairs. OH having the lone pairs. Those lone pairs will shift it to the deficient atom. Now among the like these five compound among these five rules so what we observed so wherever the electrons are 500 electrons shifted where it is shifted where it is shifted now the major thing is the electronic rich compounds are shifted to the electronic deficient compound that is the major thing okay now in case of lone pairs the lone pairs will shift it to the like a uh, uh, double bonded carbon negative charge will shift it to the double bonded carbon now here the positive is nothing but vacant orbital so now the unsaturated can shift it towards the like vacant orbital here similarly unsaturated can like here it is the breaking this is the different case now the final one is lone pairs can shift it to the, towards the like positive charge so this is the overall important points regarding to the resonance now let's move on to the mesomeric effect Okay, now let's move on to the like a uh, mesomeric effect. Uh, simply here it is the mesomeric effect, very simple thing. So the polarity developed between the like conjugated system. In case of inductive effect, that is only sigma bonded electrons. Now here like pi bonds electrons are up here. Like now here it is the like a uh, CH2 double bond CH, like a uh, CH2, like this type of compound, C CH or double bond CH2 with uh, any type of group either withdrawing group or donating group whatever they may be so here it is the conjugated system which is connected to a group the conjugated system which connected through a group okay now the like polarity developed in the conjugated system conjugated system so now here the polarity developed in the case of like a complete transfer of their pi electrons the complete transfer of their pi electrons complete transfer of their pi electrons okay so the complete transfer of their pi electrons with the help of group okay pi electrons are either in the form of pi bonding or lone pair of electrons so with the help of a group which is connected through a conjugated system which is connected through a conjugated system then it's said to be mesomeric effect are you clear i think uh, when the polarity developed between the polarity developed in conjugated system conjugated system through complete transfer of to complete transfer of pi electrons or non bonding electrons pi electrons or non bonding electrons okay with the help of a group with the help of a group 
with the help of a group with the help of a group which is connected through a which is connected which is connected to a like a conjugated system conjugated system simply it is called as mesomeric effect simply it is called as mesomeric effect this is the like a simple definition regarding to the mesomeric effect in similarly like like a inductive effect it is also two types one is a plus sum effect another one is a minus sum effect now i'll discuss the those plus sum and minus sum effect very clearly okay now let's move on to the like a plus sum and minus sum effects so here the mesomeric effect which is also called as well, like a resonance effect okay now let's move on to the mesomeric effect okay now the mesomeric effect simply so here it is the like a plus m effect or minus m effect so this is the minus m this is the plus m effect okay so plus m effect is is nothing but so here it is the conjugated system okay so here some group is there some group is there so those group having the lone pair of electrons or those group having the negative charge okay so now the group having the lone pair of electrons or negative charge then only it shown the positive character okay now what will happen so in case of lone pairs how it is shifted according to the our resonating form okay now the lone pair of electron will shift it towards the like uh, unsaturated one now here it forms the these type of resonance these type of resonance now here it is minus it is the positive it is the positive okay now we observed uh, like a complete transfer of electrons through a resonance through a resonance complete transfer of electrons so through a resonance okay now here the complete transfer of electrons with the help of a group which is shifted towards the conjugated system are you clear so transfer of electrons transfer of electrons from group to group to conjugated system conjugated system simply it is called as plus m effect okay now in case of minus m effect similarly it is a group okay now here the group having the positive charge so whenever it having the positive charge then only it is possible or the group having the like vacant orbital so these two are the possibilities okay so these two types of possibilities are present then the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the positive side or vacant orbital side now it creates these type of resonance okay now here it is neutralized here it is the positive charge so here it is the neutralized okay now here it is the vacant orbital here it is the vacant orbital so these type of bonding okay now here what will happen so the complete transfer of electron from conjugated system to group from conjugated system to group now here transfer of electrons transfer of electrons from conjugated system to conjugated system to group now what will happen the conjugated system to group then it is nothing but a minus m effect here it is the minus m effect here it is the plus m effect okay so now these type of mesomeric effect observed in case of conjugated systems as well as aromatic compounds simply it is benzene derivatives benzene derivatives now let's move on to the another example another points regarding to the, these plus m and minus m effects okay now here the second point now the second point so here this is the group the group having the lone pairs okay now group which contains lone pairs which contains lone pairs or negative charge okay now here the groups which contains positive charge or like a vacant orbital or vacant orbital okay now here this is the system now let us assume here it is the aromatic system aromatic system here it is the group so that group having the like a lone pair of electrons let us assume the here it is the lone pair of electrons so those lone pair of electrons shifted towards the like a system from group to system okay from group to conjugated system so this is nothing but plus m effect this is nothing but a plus m effect now it 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 creates the negative charge over there okay now negative charge means it is the more electron density it is more electron density so due to the like a presence of plus m group the presence of a plus m group electron density increases on aromatic ring simply so conjugated system 
electron density increases on conjugated system. Okay, the presence of like a presence of plus m group plus m group. So electron density increases on aromatic ring simply electron density increases on aromatic ring in similar case now here the group in which having the like vacant orbital or it has the positive charge then the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the like group from conjugated system to group here it is the quite opposite now here the system having the positive charge that means here electron density decreases that means here it is electron density decreases so now in case of uh, like uh, electron density decreases when it is possible so the presence of uh, minus n group the presence of minus n group uh, electron density decreases electron density decreases on aromatic ring Okay, now what will happen? If electron density increases, what will happen? Or electron density decreases, what will happen? Okay, so if electron density increases, so then it is more nucleophilic in nature. So the more nucleophilic in nature, it readily reacts with electrophile. It readily reacts with electrophile. It readily reacts with electrophile. Okay, now here it is the like it decreasing the like electron density. Now that means here it is the positive character. Okay, less nucleophilic in character. So that means here it is electro positive nature. Those electro positive compounds readily react with uh, like a nucleophilic substitution reaction. So in the presence of like a group uh, here it favors the like uh, it readily reacts with uh, it readily reacts with like a nucleophilic substitute nucleophilic. Simply, it is a really reaction with nucleophile. Okay. Now let us discuss with those examples. Examples of group. So examples. So which having the load pairs, then only comes under plus M group. Positive charge, then only comes under positive or vacant. They comes under like those type of minus M group. Okay. Now here, like load pairs. Simply here, like NR two, I mean functionality, NHR, or like NH two. So these are the group. Not only these type of load pair containing compounds. Here it is the lower pairs. So sometimes NH minus is also possible. NH minus is also possible. Now again, OR, OH, O minus. OR, OH, O minus. Sometimes yes, H. These type of groups are also available. Why? Because here it having the like a vacant orbital. Here it having the like a vacant orbital. Now not only these type of SH group, some of the like halogens. So all halogens having the three number of load pairs that's why hal halogens comes under plus n group so in previous case it is a minus i group are you clear so those uh, please remember this type of a halogen and uh, like exceptional case now here it is the like a cl bromine fluorine iodine this type of a halogens okay you, you can write the these type of uh, halogens in a radar like a fluorine chlorine bromine iodine okay so these are the best examples regarding to the like a uh, plus n okay now let us discuss the example of minus m so minus m effect is nothing but it having the positive charge or it having the vacant orbital. So vacant orbitals we could not able to direct uh, direct watching of the those type of uh, like a uh, molecular formula. Okay, so that's why I'll give the uh, simple trick to remember the those type of vacant orbital. So whenever this is the conjugated system which is connected to the more electronegativity atom. So more electronegativity atom having the lone pair of electrons. Those lone pairs. So the lone pair at lone pair containing group which is connected to the conjugated system. Those type of group is nothing but a plus m effect. Okay, so if in case of a lone pair of a, like a lone pair containing groups or more electronegativity atom groups which are connected through the like adjacent atom, not the direct. Okay, so in case of a direct connection, it's shown the plus M character or adjacent connection. Okay, not at all direct to the conjugated system. Here it is adjacent to the conjugated system. Those time, those type of molecule will show the minus M character. Okay, now here it is the adjacent compound. So that's why like a cyanides. NO2 here it is the more electronegative okay those type of compounds now here it is the more electronegative CHO so it appears like this so the more electronegativity atom which is connected to the adjacent adjacent side now ketones like acids not only carboxylic acid sulfonic acid are also there okay so these type of compounds not only carboxylic acids like a carboxylic amide so now here it is connection not the nitrogen atom 
okay this type of groups like uh, uh, with the help of these type of group uh, some of the groups having the nhcor okay now here nitrogen connected to the like a benzene ring or a, uh, conjugated system then it shown the plus some character why because so the benzene atom which is connected through a group that atom the connected atom which having the lone pairs then it is plus some which uh, are adjacent to the like a conjugated system that is the minus some effect okay uh, i think it is very helpful for you guys now this is the a simple classification regarding to the plus some and minus some effect now i'll explain a, a simple uh, like a uh, resonating forms or mesomeric effect of the some of the examples okay now let's move on to the some of the examples okay guys now let us discuss the some of the like a uh, mesomeric form structures that is the resonating structures okay any compound which is stabilized by the resonance then it shown the like mesomeric effect now let's move on to the some of the like a uh, groups okay now here it is the halogen okay here halogen halogen atom it having the lone pair of electrons originally halogen it is minus i group but uh, in the presence which is connected through the conjugated system the presence of lone pair electrons it shown the plus some character it shown the plus some character okay now again some of the compounds that is the like a negative charge or lone pair of system okay so negative charge or lone pair of uh, electrons present on the benzene adjacent atom group so benzene uh, which is connect the group which is connected to the benzene atom then it is the plus some effect okay now let's move on to the those type of uh, like a uh, resonating forms okay now here it is the like a uh, resonating form of uh, uh, like a uh, phenoxide okay so this is the like a uh, phenoxide compound o minus okay now the bonding to electrons wherever shifted then it it becomes a negative wherever it is lost then it is positive so that is the simple thing so minus okay bonded to electron shifted like this now it gives the first resonating structure double bond o minus these are common okay now again it forms the another type of resonating structure okay now here it is the bond here it is the bond minus double bond o okay again it is shifted like this okay now here it is the like a bond bond and negative charge double bond o okay again the bonded to electrons finally we will get the like our original structure o o like o minus double bond double bond o minus okay so these three are the like a resonating structure sigma complex a resonating structure okay so the hybrid form of these three like a resonating structure is nothing but a original okay now here it is the number of resonating structures are four resonating structures are four okay so this is the number of resonating structures in presence of phenoxide ion in presence of phenoxide ion okay so this is the like a resonating form okay so here a group which is shown the sum of the effect through the resonance through the resonance then it is called mesomeric effect so it shown the mesomeric effect okay now uh, that's why i'll uh, like i'll justify the one of the sentence okay all the all the mesomeric compounds must and should it follows the resonance okay but uh, all the resonating forms cannot form uh, follows the mesomeric effect okay that is the point why because so resonance each and every mesomeric compound which which follows the which must and should follows the resonating form but uh, it, it it the quite opposite is uh, maybe or may not be okay now here it is the like a phenoxide ion now the second example is halogen containing groups okay now i'll draw the like a big structure so this is the halogen containing group so halogen it having the lone pairs so one of the lone pair will shift it like this okay now here it is the bond minus double bond x okay so some of the character some of the like a uh, uh, studies spectro spectroscopic studies uh, sorry so the term uh, terminology it is uh, mixed okay the spectroscopic studies explained so halogen atom which is connected through the conjugated system so the bond between the conjugated and halogen it shown this slightly double bond character slightly double bond character so this confirms so now here the lone pair of electrons which which provides the like double bond formation okay so these these the help of uh, the double bond character observed in between the like a conjugated system and the halogen it pro, it, it is uh, like a participated in the resonance that's why i'll go through the this resonating form okay now again another resonating form bond bond minus double bond x plus again it is uh, shifted like this bond bond negative double bond x plus again it is a shifted like this 
okay now here it is the bond 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 x plus x it is neutralized x it is neutralized here also like a four resonating structures are there so these two are the plus m plus m groups now let's move on to the like one of the minus m group structure okay so here the electronic whether it is minus m or plus m we don't know okay so if more electronegativity atom directly connected through the like a uh, benzene ring then it is plus m effect okay so the more electronegativity atom which is uh, indirectly that means adjacently connected to the benzene ring then it is minus m effect okay here it is the minus m effect so why because the more electronegative will shift the their pair of electrons towards itself now here it creates the positive charge those positive charge which is fulfilled by the like shifting of a uh, like a pi bonded electrons shifting of pi bonded electrons towards the group now here like a double bond c double bond n here the minus here it depends why because so here the lossing of electron takes place here gaining of electron takes place okay now again these positive charge will shifted like this which continues now here it is the bond bond positive charge double bond c double bond n minus c double bond n minus again it is shifted that means it is continuous shift bond bond like it is a positive charge double bond c double bond n minus okay originally this type of bonds will show in the like a straight character uh, due to the like uh, unavailability of a space and now i'll show you this type of compound like this okay again finally we will get the our original structure bond 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 simply c triple bond here okay now here in the, what is the major difference between these plus m and minus m groups so plus m groups here increases the density on the like a uh, benzene ring now minus m groups decreases the density on benzene ring i think uh, it is clear which are uh, given which are given in the like our table okay so this is the simple thing again uh, one more application is there in the presence of uh, like a mesomeric effect not, okay now here the spatial orientation of benzene not only spatial orientation of benzene so any type of spatial orientation on uh, aromatic compounds uh, which is explained by the like mesomeric effect okay so now sometimes here it is the like a uh, nitrobenzene so they are given in the like a uh, nitration hno3 at a hot condition now what will happen so they are given in this type of compounds no2 no2 plus no2 no2 okay now here are the compound meta compound para compound they are confirms so among the three only one is a major product the remaining two are it may be possible or it cannot may be possible so which is major we don't know so that is called spatial orientation okay with the help of a mesomeric form so here it creates the more negative charge then it uh, readily reactive towards the electrophile okay now let's move on to the simple example so in case of a halogen okay now in the presence of halogen with the help of uh, like alkyl halide so now what will happen either ortho position or meta position we don't know okay now let's move on to the our mechanism so here it is the x so x having the lone pair of electrons okay so the lone pair of electrons will shift in like this here it creates the like a negative charge over there like a double bond x okay here it is the positive charge now here it creates the negative charge in the meanwhile it traps the electrophile it trapping the electrophile now here it forms the like this type of or the structure now once uh, uh, trapping the electrophile trapping the electrophile then again it is regenerated that means uh, here it is uh, reconnected why because in the presence of hydrogen the bonded to electrons will reforms the like our, our original structure okay so that means here the electron density increases at the ortho position okay similarly again it is shifted like a para position again it is shifted like a ortho position not at all meta position okay so here the halogen group uh, halogen group which directs the electrophile either ortho position or para position so that's why those type of groups are called ortho and para directing groups ortho and para directing groups are you clear so this is the like a uh, spatial orientation of compounds so that's why here it may be possible methyl over there or it may be possible for the like a para position or it may be possible for the para position now in case of electron withdrawing group so in case of electron withdrawing group what will happen so here it is the electron withdrawing so nitrogen double bond o here it is the o okay so this is the compound now here it creates the positive charge over there so here it is the positive charge. now here it creates the positive charge okay double bond is there so group is the same similar group okay now again it creates the positive charge over there so that means here it para position creates the positive charge in another case again it creates the positive charge over the other position okay now here are the 
para positions having the electronic deficient that means meta position having the more electronically rich okay so that's why more electronically rich compound can traps the electrophile can traps the electrophile so that's why meta product is major meta product is major so this type of uh, spatial orientation is observed in presence of mesomeric effect okay now let's move on to the applications i think it is clear now let's move on to the applications Okay, guys. Now let's move on to the applications of carbocation. So here it is the applications, applications of carbocation. Okay. Now here, uh, like uh, we are discussing the five to six applications. I don't want to go for the uh, like each and every repeated points. That's why I'll uh, discuss the all the type of applications over here. Now similar type of applications. The first one, stability of carbocation. Stability of carbocation. So this is the first application. Now, so which is a similar to the like second one, stability of carbon ion. So this is the second one. Okay. Now the third application, stability of stability of carbon free radical. So this is the third application. Okay. So these three are the similar application. That's why I'll discuss the those all the type of applications over here. Okay. Simply, so these three applications having the common point. Mesomeric effect is nothing but mesomeric effect explained through the resonance. Okay. So that means each and every compound which follows the resonance. Okay. So the some of the compounds which shown the less resonating structures, but some of the compounds which shown the more resonating structures. So compared between the like less and more number of resonating structure. So if any compound which shown more number of resonating structure that will be more stable okay now in simple simple case resonance increases like a uh, stability increases resonance increases potential energy decreases that means resonance increases stability increases okay simply more number of resonating structures are there resonating structures is directly proportional to the stability that means so which compounds will show the more number of resonating structure that is more stable than that of the other one that is more stable than that of the other one now let's move on to the like a simple examples okay now the comparison of uh, two examples that is the like a benzoylic uh, cation and the allylic cation okay now what will happen in presence of uh, these uh, these two types these two structures okay now here it is the benzoylic cation so now let's discuss the like uh, those resonating structures with the help of our previous uh, knowledge okay the bonded two electrons will shift it like this so here it creates the positive charge ch2 okay now again bond shifted like this it creates the positive charge like here positive positive ch2 again it uh, one more time it creates the positive charge on the benzene ring here it is the positive positive double bond ch2 okay now again bonded to two electrons will shifted like this so this is the like our original structure ch2 plus this is our real structure here it shown the like a uh, uh, it's it appears like a phase resonating structure first one and fifth one is the same that's why here the remaining three these are the sigma complex will show the three structures now these two are similar that's why here it is considered as one so the number of resonating structures is four okay now in case of allylic cation so the bond of two electrons it is the empty orbital, vacant orbital positive charge so the positive charge the pi bonded electrons will shift it towards the positive charge now it creates this type of compound so here it possible for the two resonating structures the number of resonating structures are two Okay, so with the help of these two, like a uh, first one, benzylic cation will show the four resonating structures, but allylic will show two resonating structures. With the help of our statement, so the more stable, like a uh, more resonating structures will be more stable. That's why benzylic cation more stable than that of the allylic cation, allylic uh, carbocation, carbocation. Why? Because here it forms the more number of resonating structures. So this is the first point. So in similarly, like a carbon free radical. Sorry like uh, let's move on to the carbon ion so here it is the like these type of compounds so which is shown the like a negative over there ch2 okay now again it is uh, like this ch2 negative charge over here so here it is the like a ch2 ch2 now again one more time bond bond negative ch2 okay again it is uh, one more time now we will get the our original structure CH2 minus okay now the bond, double bonds are shifted okay so this is the like a number of resonating structures are for okay now in case of uh, L, uh, L -L -E 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 -E, that is a uh, allylic carbon ion 
so it shifted like this so which is shown the like this type of resonating structure okay this type of uh, resonating structure now here number of resonating structures are two so among the four and the two four is greater than that of the two that's why benzylic anion is benzylic carbon ion is more stable than that of the like a allylic carbon ion allylic carbon ion in a similar way so third factor so benzylic carbon radical is more stable than that of the like the allylic carbon carbon free radical so what we what we confirms that so in case of a more number of resonating structures that is more stable than that of the normal one so this is the simple point now let's move on to the fourth and fifth applications in a single page i think it is clear if there is any doubts mention the mention the doubt in comment section Okay, now the third application, that a fourth application, so that is the acidity, and fifth application is nothing but a basic strength, acidic strength, and basic strength. This is the fifth application. One is the acidic strength, and another one is the like basic strength. Now acidity, it is simply it is nothing but acidic strength, acidic strength. Now what will happen in case of acidic strength? So generally, minus a groups increases the acidity of a. either inductive effect or mesomeric effect so which are clearly explained in our inductive manner that means negative negative m effect or negative i effect which increases the acidity okay simply acidic strength is directly proportional to the minus m or minus i okay in similar way so the like a basic strength is directly proportional to the basic strength is directly proportional to the like a plus m or plus i so this is the common point this is the common point over here okay now let us discuss the one or one or two examples now here if system having the like a simple thing th this is the nh2 this is the plus m group okay now let's move on to the like a cyanide okay so are anything so similar group here it having the cyanide okay now but here it having the another group of like a minus m effect so minus m that means no2 group is there okay so no2 group that is minus m group so the minus m group will increases the like acidity of compound acidity of compound so now uh, some factors are there like are the effect uh, like basicity will be if uh, some factors are there i'll discuss the, those factors over the like acidic strength of uh, compounds uh, acidic strength of organic compounds now here the presence of minus some group here it is the more acidic than that of the this one here it is the more acidic than that of this this one so this is the simple thing now in similar ca similar case so the more basic compound that is a plus m effect more basic is plus m so less basic is a normal one okay now i will discuss the one of the example regarding to the basic strength before going to that uh, we are discuss this two points okay sometimes there are question like uh, many of the uh, like examiners they are asked the questions uh, they are might be asked the questions like this so carboxylic acid and phenol so carboxylic acid is aliphatic but phenol is aromatic but still carboxylic acid is more acidic than that of the phenol why because what is the reason now i'll explain those things so here it is the carboxylic acid negative charge let us assume so it forms this type of resonating structure r c o minus over there double bond o okay so this is the resonating structure so now in case of phenol o minus let us assume phenoxide and corresponding ions okay now here it creates the like this type of resonating structure double bond bond double bond o minus okay now here the negative charge traveled between the two electronegativity atoms but here the negative charge shared by the one carbon atom one oxygen atom so here it is a two more electronegativity atoms two more electronegative atoms so now here one more electronegative one is less electronegative one is less electronegative so with the help of a more that means uh, the resonating structures available with the help of more electronegativity atom which is more stable than that of the like a uh, different atom electronegativity different electronegativity atom resonance structure even though it having the five resonating structure like four resonating structure but it shown the still it shown the two resonating structure still it is more stable than that of the like a phenol why because here the resonating structure shared with the help of a two more electronegativity atoms now here the resonating structure shared one is more electronegative another one is a normal electronegative okay now let's move on to the like second thing so phenols are more acidic than that of the aliphatic alcohols second point phenols are more acidic than that of the aliphatic alcohols why because like let us assume here it is the aliphatic alcohols 
okay so now in case of alcohols or ch2oh if there is any possibility show, to show the resonance or mesomeric so if there is no resonance mesomeric is also option okay so there is no resonance no resonance no mesomeric no mesomeric okay now here but it shown the like resonance so resonance is more stable than that of the normal one that means mesomeric effect shown compounds more stable than that of the non showing compounds that's why phenol is more acidic than that of the aliphatic alcohols aliphatic alcohols these are the two important points regarding to the acidic state now let's move on to the basic stuff so here it is the compound nh2 now the second compound like benzylamine now the final compound n methyl phenylamine nh like a, it is a hydrogen here it is the methyl so the which, which is labeled as one two three so among three which is more basic in nature okay now here it is the like a plus m effect why because it having the lower pairs now here which is adjacent to them okay that's why it, it does not show the plus m effect okay now here it is the plus m as well as a, like a alkyl group is present alkyl group is nothing but plus i group so plus m and plus i group is present plus m and plus i group is present now the basicity order okay so the basicity order which is calculated by the with the help of a, like a bond strength okay so that means here bond strength is nothing but stability like sorry basic basic strength is nothing but a stability of the order okay stability is more basic strength is less simply it is nothing but so more stable compounds less basic simple thing so more stable compound more stable less basic why because if it is a stable it cannot pro it cannot donate the pair of electrons that's why it is quite opposite okay now here it is the like a more resonating structure plus m is more stable that's why it is least basic one is the least basic now here it shown the like resonating but it is it does not show the like uh, any resonating that's why it is more basic than that of the like a third one okay so this is the order why because there is no resonance no resonance more resonance here which is the which is uh, overlapped by the plus a effect somewhat plus a effect so this is the order now i'll, I'll like i'll show the like a plus m like i'll compare the mesomeric effect inductive effect like a hyper conjugation effect in a single video so if it is possible i'll make some of the problems regarding to the these three effect comparison okay so that's all for this video this is very helpful for your video i think it is uh, too much of length but it is a very uh, like a needed video for the like basic learners as well as a CSAR, GATE aspirants and finally IIT, JE and NEET aspirants. Okay, that's all for this video. If you like the video, please share, comment in, your in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much for watching.